<laughs> Speaking of which, I think that is where we are going to start with uh, with Jason versus Avery. Uh, Jason actually did really good. Jason this dueled your son. Uh, well, no. <laughs> Dave's like, oh, I wish he I lost did. to like a two-year-old. Yes, he's three, but yes. Uh, <laughs> oh well, I mean. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so first, uh, first duel of the night is. Salaman Greats versus Dark Magicians. We got Soul Burner versus Arcana, because Yugi was already taken, and I decided to be nice and let Jason play Dark Magician anyway. Hmm. So the uh, Salaman Great player goes first. Does the usual uh, Sunlight Wolf Mirage Stalio combo ending on Roar and some back row? The, uh, the Regeki is negated, however, so there is yeah. nice not Ringer much Regeki. at this point for uh, our, our cool. poor Dark Magician player to do. Uh, I think the game kind of got away from him <laughs> very quickly. Playing solitaire over there! <laughs> <laughs> I'm so angry! Um, so here's game yeah. number two. Uh, spoiler alert, there is no game number three. Oh! Hot damn! <laughs> um, for some reason, did he, uh, did he let her go first? I think he did. Uh, I hope that Feels was a misclick, bad, because that's some solid, uh, what, summon limits in your hand, not doing anything. I well, he's know. playing, uh, Murageki in a going first deck, so. Uh, yeah, well, there's the summon limit, so, uh... Probably would have waited until that second summon. Not that it really much matters. Probably should have used the dark energy discs. <laughs> those are those are saws, Dave. <laughs> you can cast dark magic on your opponent. Uh, summoning <laughs> Apprentice Illusion in front of Sunlight Wolf was some some quality as well. <laughs> What do you mean it doesn't send me to the Shadow Realm? It just cuts off my feet? <laughs> um, yes. That's boring. <laughs> Merrick lied to me. So that apparently it is I'm getting in for that good 500 damage with the uh, attack position, blue boy. And there's that other summon limit. Oh, he's getting out recently. You're right, Ron. This was entertaining watching uh, Jason get brothel Molly Wong. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Uh, he did a, there, was some, there was some solid play. Um, some interaction. Well, some interaction. Called, interaction. Called by the grave definitely put a stop to that by banishing Rod. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Jason. Are you still in the chat? Um, <laughs> and then the Salaman Great's players tended to interact with each other. There was certainly... Um, that going on. Yes. There is there is a certain amount of solitaire being played. Um, the top deck. Now, they, now that the uh, oh, top deck. Top deck. Oh, that's. Oh. That's a little... teardropper. <laughs> so. Well, I don't know what you expect. That was a, a better duel. Um, there was a, a blue boy doing some damage, so it wasn't a, a perfect. Uh, Perfect victory, flawless victory, but uh, a valiant effort, Jason. <laughs> Congratulations, you lost. Um, <laughs> My soul is mine. <laughs> Fatality. <laughs> uh, the next one is Predator Plants versus Trains. We got Kieran versus Yuri's Best. Yuri playing Predator Plants and Kieran playing Trains. Yuri, Ooh, that's Scorpia or a. Uh, Darlington. I don't actually, know if they play double Darlington. But... Actually playing the uh, the Predator Plants oh. in a Predator Plant uh, deck there. Darlington Brick, yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think Yuri opened particularly well. But I thought opening uh, Wee Witch is the best Predator Plant play. That's all I ever see them do. I mean, it is, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> You don't have to push it. You can just watch the duel. <laughs> uh, but sorry. he made his one crappy opening. What, what are you Yuri's in the chat, and uh, he said he bricked. So, uh, 
I mean, opening like, the opening the Darlington Cobra, even if the rest of the hand is all right, yeah, that's that's rough. That's a whole dead card. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's like playing with four cards starting, and that's really bad. Yeah, bringing back some of the Shadals, which is kind of cool. Uh, I, mean, I like, like that combo. Wind, uh, wind is good. Uh, unfortunately, he's got that uh, slumber Ooh, searching see. out spot removal, so. You need that mud dragon for that super poly. Right. Yeah, there's uh, not not a whole lot to do with that. Did you run the patchwork engine? Not I mean, I assume it's a thing. Sure. Another Cobra, damn. That's really rough. Two games in a row? Does it even shuffle? <clears throat> no. I mean, no. <laughs> no. No. No, that was interesting. According to YG of Pro Devs, if you draw a bad hand, it's not because of the algorithm, it's because your deck is bad. Yeah, that's probably true. So, that was a... A slaughter. Quick, a quick victory for Kieran. I think that's, that's kind of how he won, was quickly. He kind of steamrolled people. He was really on like the right Like a bunch of trains. With oh. his dual building. I mean, he really steamed through the competition and... Seemed like the train engine really kind of railroaded its deck, though. I hate both of you. <laughs> <laughs> that went on way too well. <laughs> you, you choose me? <laughs> um, so. the, the next one is Odd Eyes versus Raid Raptor. Uh, I hope the Raid Raptor player is going second. Because <laughs> he only just... too evenly matched. Anyone who's just tuning in, no, this isn't the scrubbiest matchup you've ever heard. Uh, <laughs> the, the tournament lends itself to this kind of thing. Uh, tournament rules, if you are not familiar, you were required to have, uh, was it 40% of your deck be in archetype cards? In character? In character cards. Most, mostly in archetype, but then we definitely bent the rules for some of the DM uh, era cards just because... Their kind decks were just a menagerie of random garbage. Yes. Um, Odd Eyes opened up pretty well. Well, I'm, I will say that. They had one the game, and it got... It's doing pendulums. It's, it's doing pendulum stuff. There's, uh... Oh, oh. See, that's that's nice. Being able to to vortex the, um... Bocklet. Well, vortex the, uh... Kaiju back to your hand. Yeah. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, it's almost seven two, so you can pen summon it. Yep, yep. For our, for uh, absolutely, that's a that's a solid okay. attack. This is game one. This is game one. Why is he maining a much evenly matched? Uh, I think he's just maining it. Just Unless... trying to hard go second. I think so. But he went first. Did he? Uh, <laughs> I didn't yep. notice. Yep. I didn't did. even. I didn't. Ma- I didn't make a point to. Uh... So he chose to go second, game number two, hoping he would draw into some of his going second cards. Uh, he, did not, he, he did not. Uh, looks like the pendulum player is able to uh, pop off himself. a little bit. Uh, got some counters for his mythical beast. So he's got two negates and a untargetable. Well, not ah, the standard but a, pendulum uh, board. A deco talker. Uh, it is not standard because of that, uh, the Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum, which, when things are destroyed, <laughs> just summon them right back. Which Kieran says so, he, he probably, the other guy probably lost the die roll, and then Odd Eyes opted to go second because it's a hard go second deck as well. That interesting. Would make I'm sense. curious how he handled with back pro decks. I guess because it's an OTK play. strategy because you Pendulum summon a bunch of dragons. <laughs> Fog <laughs> Blade negate. Oh. No, fog blade coon. Dragons. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. Uh, the next duel, and going down the uh, going down the line here. I think it's this one. Trick stars versus galaxy. This is the uh, like I said. This is the top sixteen. Ooh, is that a ash and droll? Yeah, I mean Ooh. it is trick stars. So all the hand traps. All it doesn't look fun. That fun little mind control, though. Uh, it's a good tech. It's cute. Oh. Opening two of them is a little rough, but... Yeah. Because you really... I mean, how, how many times are you going to resolve all of them? 
I mean, uh, I guess mind control. Unless... I mean, you can resolve one every turn. It's just I don't know. It's just kind of give dead. it back to your opponent. Uh, surprisingly, he didn't have to didn't have to open up a Candina or Light Stage to go into Trisbenia. Yeah. Very interesting. Because like... Galaxies have a really hard Trick Star matchup. What's well, hard about thing. it? Uh, you have to summon a lot, so if they have any of the summon guys, you kind of just lose. Gotcha. Take, take a lot of burn. And yeah, mind yeah. control is baiting out the infinity, so he can then normal summon. Uh... Oh, oh! Candina. The uh, no. main deck the, mega fleet. The main I, deck mega uh, fleet using the cyber dragon infinity for the cyber as dragon. the cyber dragon. Um, that was didn't see that coming. That was a little sacky there on the Trickstar players' part. Why didn't he just do why that? It. Why didn't he just do that? What? Like why? Like why did he bait out? Why did he bother baiting out the? Uh... I don't know. That's a very good question. <laughs> I'm think about it because he could keep the card. I don't, I don't know. know. He was feeling juicy. I mean, if he uh, if he didn't use mind control, then yeah, I don't know. Maybe he didn't. He wouldn't. He didn't think about it until he went into his extra deck and realized, oh, I can summon something. <laughs> What's this green circle? Yeah, he he pulled the Davinator one two one two and and clicked. Green Just circle. clicked around. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, candy and a licorice, couple couple hundred burn, pretty standard stuff. It's got the uh, got the droll and lock reincarnation combo ready, and I'm pretty sure that's probably gonna game. Got some Yay! That Panker Tops, though. Panker Tops is like MVP. That card's really good. It's far better than it should be. Yeah. It's the fact that even if it's not good, you could still like leave it on field as a pop during your opponent's turn. Yeah. So good. Uh. Gabe uh. notes at one in this, right? Uh, yeah, I think this is. Uh, I think it's current ban list. I don't think we. I think it's. We started this just after the uh, the new ban list hit. So, I get pretty standard uh, scapegoat shenanigans, for sure. Yeah. Um, I always knew some, that card was busted. Uh, Kieran is saying that uh, Kitson and the Trickstar player Kitson Nebula. Uh, earned his entry through one of Kieran's side events. I believe it was the firefight that he was able to get in for free. And Very of course, cool. he had to use Trickstar, because <clears throat> obviously. He probably just used the same deck. <laughs> probably. <laughs> it right. worked last time. Where is the next one? Can we, can we watch uh, Jason getting destroyed again? I that was fun. To. That was oh Dinos versus ABC. We got uh, Wooblub. Well, I can't never pronounce your name. Wooblub. What and, we really uh, need to do is uh, just make a video. It's like ten minutes, three ads. You know, ten minute long video, of just replaying that replay of Jason getting mollywhopped. I'm, I'm <laughs> I'd watch that, it. That was some solid mollywhopping. Just uh -huh. like every time he gets OTK, dude. <laughs> 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 Should we get to the <laughs> Make me fight you both. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd watch it. He'd watch it too. <laughs> That's the best part. So this is ABC versus Dinosaurs. Uh, Dino uh, Thunder Dragons actually would be the official... Uh... Does Griffin work if he has nothing co-linked? Uh, I mean, it's linked. It's not co-linked, it's just linked. Ah, uh, so as long as there's something there. So any anything to a linked zone can get the effect. Uh, and ABC Buster Dragon was linked to the Griffin, so some uh, some solid Monster Ooh. Reborn play to get back his opponent's ABC Dragon. Uh, and I think th uh, it's actually I like the the combo with double e evolution pill and the uh, and the Thunder Dragons. That's um, Synergy. Did uh, Dino Oof. Thunder Dragons ever uh, do anything? Uh, like it wasn't ever actually. I think they had a, a few tops. So I know Blair Hunter played it. I know. I think Blair still plays it. Yeah. So it's gotta have some. Tops. Just the the danger. There's no wins. I think. Yeah, the danger form uh, style 
version just did better for obvious reasons. Excuse me. Uh, Kaijus looks like they're putting in a lot of work. I like the tribute summon the Thunder Dragon for Colossus. That's some. <laughs> that's some. Some nice Thunder Dragon play right there. Got a Widow Anchor? Felt strong. What? Yeah, he's playing yeah, uh, yeah, ABC. Yeah. Sky Striker? Yeah. Buster Dragon putting in work, getting rid of the problem cards of Colossus. Forcing out the uh, the tag with Pancratops. Pancratops uh, demonstrating his usefulness yet again. I love he really that is card. our BP in these matches. He go. Too bad it was followed up by a set pass. Yeah. So uh, Cheetah unfortunately lost. As expected. I mean. <laughs> that's mean. Um, Rude. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed at it. <laughs> How wooed! <laughs> Dino's giving them a run for their money trying to get Colossus out on board and protect it, but that, uh, that Widow Anchor, uh, says no. The hell is that? Uh, is the Clara and Rushka the Ventrilo duo. Can't be linked summon except during main phase two, and then the materials are a normal summon or set monster. But why, though, is my question. I mean, that I don't know. He just wanted to show off on Probably. Screen. That's the problem with that. Uh, the ABC player is thoroughly enjoying his C back at, uh, or his A back at uh, 3. Wombo combo. Wamboing with combos. It's like because the deck works now because you put its card back at full power. Pretty much. Yeah, the uh, the matchup with uh, ABC Buster Dragon and Colossus was... That's... Uh, that's a problem. Yeah. Jacket Thanks. Buster has an inherent advantage because it yeah. can banish it. Mm hmm. Uh, the final match of the top 16 that we have, uh, this was uh, the, the, the final matchup uh, M72 Anarchy had to bow out due to some extracurricular activities. I don't know. I think work. <laughs> so, you we are going to sound dirty there at first. What? Made sound dirty. I was like, "Oh, <laughs> extracurriculars." <laughs> Understand. At the YMCA. Uh, oh. And M72 was playing. Uh, was playing Goki, and Ion was playing uh, Masked Heroes, I believe. So, uh, oh, Ion Heroes in the final. goes on to the top eight. So this is, uh, but this is going to be N. C. Conroy versus J. Voids. J Boyd. J Boyd's One not singular. playing uh, Altergeists because we wouldn't let him. Oh, he was very vocal about it. Don't <laughs> <laughs> um, so the Mermaid player is going first, doing Mermelly things. Abyss lead. Uh, <laughs> I mean the. Let's be rough. Abyss Gaius pass is. Uh, Certainly not very strong, but Mermails definitely would rather go second, being just the OTK. J Void's pulling out that uh, break sword. You know, that old chestnut. The helmet is coming on. <laughs> oh, that dark hole's probably going to put in some work. Dark he's got nothing to miss, so he's got all yeah. the Then the Moray, which people are uh, incorrectly saying, Oh, now with the new rules, I don't have to show my cards. Oh, those rules. I don't think it'd be too bad, but anybody who was going to cheat would cheat anyway. You have to reveal for cost still, right? Like, yeah. you can't just... No, Moray still works the same way. Mm -hmm. It's just, you can't verify if... I don't know, that's another, that's another topic. Let's get Never it. understood that. Weird. You can't call a judge on it, maybe. If you have, high, if you are highly suspicious and and have a good reason for calling a judge, maybe. But yeah, whatever. So yeah, Mermails ended up. Uh, all they needed was Prince. 
Game number two. Mermailed. Mermailed. Uh, Phantom Knights, Phantom Knighted for first turn with the T set pass. I mean, it was three back run at once. So that's not. Oh, it's, it looks like a T from my perspective. Uh, it's a T the other way. <laughs> <laughs> it's a T in every direction. Or a box. <laughs> There's no wrong answers here. That's <laughs> pretty important. I don't, it's impressive that that was somehow enough. Got him in the lead. <laughs> yeah, it's got. Uh, yeah, that is a brick and a it's half. Got a fog blade impermanence, two impermanence, called by the grave. Oh, I was got two fog blades, two impermanences, and a called by the grave. So, Somebody yeah, the mer have fun today. The mermail player is not going to be activating anything. He's going to try anyway. Monster Reborn on the Ash Blossom. That's a, that's a solid summon there. I like the uh, infinite impermanence in the aisle or in the column of Regeki in order to negate that. That was cute. Blue needs skill, and all you gotta do is activate all of your back row. And <laughs> well, I mean... Yeah. Order of Operations is a thing. I guess it was a misplay on Regeki Man's part, because if your opponent's got a bunch of back row, you can yeah. just avoid that by not playing in the same column. Yeah, learning about columns is like a thing now. Placement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should always, unfortunately, you should always activate uh, your spells and stuff in empty columns. Yeah, I got impermanence on a spell once. So it felt bad. <laughs> I was like, yeah, that was avoidable. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were poor, man. I'm sorry. I assumed you didn't have good cards. So, My bad. He's poor after, don't you worry. Impermanence pulling out the victory for that one. Is, uh, so Mermail opted to go first. He's confident he can... What, Mulan Glacia, the, uh, the opponent? If he's going first, why is there two twin twisters in his hand? Uh, I don't know. I guess you want twin twister instead of duster if you're going first. I guess. I just wouldn't have put it in at all. There is some questionable choices, like the lead. I mean, it's almost like my subscribers don't know actually how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Did you see the set Ash Blossom into Ghost Ogre into a rank three? <laughs> I mean, the uh, the builds aren't most optimized due to the forty percent restriction. Not Only an excuse. on the Infinator channel, can you see stuff like this? No, I think I think the Mermails have no problem running forty percent Mermails. I don't, even, I don't remember if we allowed all Antians either. Oh. Uh, but yeah, looks like... Uh... Oof. There was a play. Mm-hmm. Uh, that dead Mori of Greed. I like that dead out. evenly match. Yeah, right. Oh, dead cards in this game. <laughs> yeah, the Bisley, the Ash. <laughs> There's a whole lot of dead cards. That Yeah, that set Ash was... Pretty broke. <laughs> I think they, bo I think the they both did a set Ash this game. Right? Yep. yep. They can also normal summon Ghost Ogre to go through. <laughs> <laughs> this is like watching paint dry. <laughs> <laughs> this is entertaining stuff. Man, right? this Are you not doing... entertained? <laughs> Man, Mermail's not doing the one thing it's supposed to do. Win quickly? Win, Win quick. And it, does, it certainly doesn't ever seem to lose slow. This is really an unusual game. Yeah. Well, I think I think Phantom Knights just have a hard time winning quickly. It's I weird mean, playing main decking all that back row when you have a ton of back row. Main decking the evenly. I don't think it's necessarily Phantom Knights in general. It might just be the pilot. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, that's probably it. Ooh, but Ryan. Oh. Turn 18, oh. make the Boral oh, Sword. Hot damn. <laughs> was that? I, I'm sorry. Did I say that out loud? So this is Windows and PT's match. This is the last one of the top 16 uh, for reals this time. PT is playing the pretty much the the YCS winning 
Lunalite deck. Luna, Lunalite dangers. Um, and Winda is playing, I think, pretty standard Pendulum Magicians. With maybe a higher Magician count to get uh, up to the Yuya. Hey! Da Yuya! Get, get Da Yuya! Ooh, look at that snake. That snakey boy. Snakey boy? <laughs> Is snakey boy gonna do anything? He's gonna sit there. He's just gonna sit there with his neck out. <clears throat> his neck scrunched? His neck scrunched. That was Little Light's first turn. Um, it was okay. It was okay. Basilisk. That's interesting. Some shenanigans with the mythical beasts. Hey, look, it's Oaf. Best card in the deck. Best card in the deck. And clearly, it definitely not the ones that <laughs> do things. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just the one that adds them after you've already used them. Yes, best card in the deck. Uh, <laughs> Boral Bros. It's like Warrior returning to life. Is good. Right, Boral continue. Bros. Doing some dueling there. Got uh, three of the Borals on board. That crazy. Is, uh, was a board. That was that uh, was certainly a board. That's a boral load of monsters. And game number two. Didn't even acknowledge it. You're a terrible pun. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, drop a like or a dislike. The algorithm here, which remember, guys, <laughs> to dislike that video and unsubscribe. If we get the same amount of likes and dislikes, it's actually better. I mean, an infamous video is probably makes decent money. Mm -hmm. like, oh, PewDiePie's videos are very infamous because he has so many subs that <clears throat> there will always be a lot of dislikes, so no matter what it beats before. That's the true. The, uh, the Yazzie and the Mare Mare in Pendulum Magicians is certainly interesting. It's nice. I just always draw the damn thing. Right. Mare, mare, good card, though. Mm -hmm. The rice per turn. Certainly a lot less Pendulum Magician's Ning in this turn, and a lot more standard Link shenanigans. What do you do? Smokescreen? I don't know. <laughs> Could you imagine you're just like, whatever, I'll get Ryan's rule just by, like, you know, playing a bunch of jank in the first game and then just smokescreen it all out and just play a real deck? Like, <laughs> yeah. puts in the Teller Knights. Yeah, I just like fuck it. Although I don't know why you're smoke screening into Mare Mare, but uh <laughs> sure. Ooh, that's a good card. You don't see him anymore. He's skill drain. Oh. Yeah he is. The He's uh good. Fire Fist? Mm hmm Yeah, the one that searches tanky. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's good. He's good. He's really good. He's uh platinum rare. Ew. <laughs> ugly rare. He's ugly, ugly rare. rare. Ugly whale. Just like him and Yamato. Yeah. No, or it's not either. Yamato, it's, uh... Yeah, it's... it's... Fujinte. Oh, it's... Susano. 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 Oh, it is Susano. It's Susano, yeah. Yeah, Susano. Whatever it is. Whatever. <laughs> uh, final game. Pendulum Magicians is going first this time. Dead GP. Time Gazer in the scale. <clears throat> Oof. That's some... That's some desperate shenanigans right there. Uh... Are she, is she doing the Kali Yuga build? Uh, is the uh, boots? E no. No. Hmm. Unless she sided it out. <laughs> That's the smoke screen. Yeah. Tornado Dragon on the poison. Purple poison is cute. <clears throat> Scaling the uh, magical abductor brings Time Gazer's scale to a four. Which means you will probably not be pendulum summoning next turn. They went out of their way to make time gazer so bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you have to pop it with what? Twister? Typhoon? Yeah. Typhoon. Well, technically, it was <clears throat> the first pendulum card. Time gazer? Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah he yeah. was. Him and uh, Star Time. Or Stargazer. Stargazer, yeah. I'm okay. impressed you guys actually run it. Well, because Chronograph uh, summons it from the deck. That's the only reason. So it's a He's garnet. a garnet. He's a garnet that you could pop. <laughs> yeah. He's also a three, so there's some interesting synchro seven options with it. Ooh. Chain the 
called with a grave for no reason. Wouldn't the better play be like fog blade on poison so they couldn't swing into it? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, that was so, that was that was Luna Lights, awesome. Luna Lights uh, take it from there. Remember to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my totally rad dueling. Watching more of these videos is almost as fine as Taya's ass? What? I'm not saying that. Fine. Then it's time to duel.